Hello, hello, it's Dumplet here. Welcome to a collaboration project between Dumplet and SETI's Mathverse on Hong Kong International Math Olympiad questions. For this one, given that f of x is a cubic polynomial, such that f of 1 equals 1, f of 2 equals 2, f of 3 equals 4, and f of 4 equals 6, find the value of f of 5. As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. Now, as you can see here from um, this part, we're going to look at differences between consecutive terms. Now, since we have a cubic polynomial here, it is expected that the third difference of the consecutive terms is going to be constant. But before that, let's try to see some uh, examples with quadratic and linear functions. So for example, I have a quadratic function f of x equals x squared. If I substitute 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, I'm going to get 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. Well, obviously, you can continue, so it's going to be 25 and so on. Now, we can try to get the first difference. So from 1 to 4, that's 3. 4 to 9, it's going to be 5. You can uh, follow along here, and so on. And if you get the second difference, from 3 to 5, it's 2. 5 to 7, it's 2. And, well, it's going to be constant, as you can see here. So we can see here that the second difference, it's all 2s, and therefore it's constant. Now for a linear function, let's say f of x equals 2x, if I substitute 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on, I'm going to get 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. Now, well, obviously it's linear, so from 2 to 4, we'll have 2. From 4 to 6, it's going to be 2, 2, 2, and so on. So you can see here that for a linear function, the first difference is constant. Well, in fact, in a quadratic function of degree 2, the second difference will be constant. In, in a linear function, which has a degree of 1, well, technically 1, but we don't put the 1 by convention, the first difference is going to be constant. So for a cubic function, the third difference is going to be constant. So let's try to take a look at the first, second, and the third difference, respectively, of the function. So f of 1, 2, 3, 4 are given, and we're asked to get f of 5. So you can use the method here and just to analyze the differences. So from 1 to 2, we're going to get 1. From 2 to 4, we're going to get 2. 4 to 6, we have 2. Now, we don't really know what this part is, so we just leave it blank for now. So for the second difference, we know that from 1 to 2, it's 1. From 2 to 2, that's 0. And this part, we don't know what it is, so let's just leave it blank. And the third difference, which we know that this part here should be constant. So from 1 to 0, that's negative 1. So we know that, since the third difference must be constant, this part should be negative 1. So from 0 to this number over here, it should be a negative 1. So I add negative 1. So this should be negative 1. And 2 to this number, this should be negative 1. So this is technically 1. And this is the difference. 1 is the difference when... So 1 is the thing that I add from 6 to this question mark over here. Therefore, this question mark must be 6 plus 1, which is 7. Therefore, the value of f of 5 is equal to 7. And this will be our final answer. Hopefully you guys learned something new from this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.